it comes to you and the Bible. Nobody is preaching the Bible to you. You are the one who opened the Bible. And you are reading. This should be your father speaking to you. I don't know if I'm communicating to you. Don't, don't go elsewhere. Mama, for to me. you for Christ. Let him out. What Christ is? Christ is in the world. Christ is in the world. You don't need to search the heaven. Oh, no, no. Let him out. What are Find Christ. Let him out. What Christ is? That somebody is telling you that there are seven heavens. Tell me, can we suffer? Can we all remain alone? When I climbed the first one. Bring back him. Go and let go. Then I decide. I ascend again to the second heaven. What do you mean, Jilo? And I saw angels. Ah, this angels I saw. They turned their head down. They are using head to war. Magic kingdom. All we done. Lord, who for my eyes to see what I must see? Open my ears to hear what I need to hear. Show me mercy this day. Let grace come to my heart. Lord, this is our desire. Let there be transformation in our lives. Lord, come and do your work. Come and do your work in us. Come and do your work in our me. Come and do your work in our lives. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we thank you for your message. Thank you for this gathering again. Thank you for your power that have drawn us. We know. Ama. Whenever you invite your people to yourself, you really want to do them good. Yes, Lord. That particular good you want to do for us. And that which each of us needed. We ask that you will send it to us. And by the time we finish this meeting, let there be transformation in our being. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Now let's turn our Bibles to Matthew chapter 22. Matthew Matthew 22. The first 14 verses is the test for this our study today. Only Akori Bibeli Tiaulofon a core lon waloni. We are in study four. Awa nino e ko kenny. We are learning Christ in his parables. Anko Christi Nino Owe. That is the focus for the series of our Bible study. In this artist's feet. E yi ni ate juma wa. Fon a wan o ni rurwe koti anko. Ni esere lo wala wa yi. And the study title today is God's abundant provision of salvation for all. A kori e kwa wa ti o ni. Lo oni kwe ikpe si o loron. Lo kwa lo kwa. Fon yi bala bogbo yi ni yan. God's abundant provision of salvation for all. Alright. Have you opened your Bible to Matthew 22? Eh? Okay. We will read from here so you follow us as we read. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables. And said, 
the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son ijobo olorun dabi oba kan tin gbe yawo fun omo re and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidding to the wedding and they would not come o ran awon eru re lo pe awon ti o ti da ojo igbe yawo na fun sugbon won ko fe wa again he sent forth other servants saying tell them which are bidding behold i have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready come unto the marriage o tun ran awon eru miran ki won lo so fun awon ti a ti pe pe mo ti se asetan mo ti pa malu ati awon eran olora mo ti se eto gbogbo tan e wa si bi igbeyawo but they made light of it and went with their ways one to his farm another to his merchandise sugar won ko bi kita okan lo si bi oko re omiran lo si bi ide owo re and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and he slew and slew them awon iyoku ki awon eru na mole won si lu won pa but when the king heard thereof he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city inuwa bi oba na oba ran omo ogun awon omo ogun re ki won pa awon eniyan won yirun ki won si da ina sun ilu won then said he to his servants the wedding is ready but they which were bidding were not worthy o ba so fun awon eru re pe ati pari gbogbo eto igbeyawo sugbon awon ti a pe ko ye go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage e wa lo si gbogbo ori ta ilu e pe gbogbo eni ti e ba ti ri wa si bi igbeyawo so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good and the wedding was furnished with guests awon eru na ba lo si igboro won ko gbogbo awon ti won ri wa ati awon eniyan rere ati eniyan buruku oni ruru eniyan ba kun ibi ase igbeyawo verse 11 Say, and when the king came in to see the guest he saw there a man which had not on him a wedding garment nigba ti oba wole owo awon ti won njeun ori okunrin kan ni be ti ko wo aso igbeyawo and he said unto him friend how came next thou in either not having a wedding garment and he was speechless o baba bi pe ara kunrin bawo ni o se wo yin wa lai ni aso igbeyawo sugbon keke pa mo okunrin na lenu then said the king to the servants bind him hand and foot and take him away hmm. and cast him into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth o baba pa se fun awon yan se re pe e di towo tese ki e si gbe sinu okukun birimo birimo ni be ni ekun ati epa ikeke yo wa the last verse ese ti o gbeyin for our reading verse 14 ese kenan for many are called but few are chosen ni tori opo ni ape sugbon awon die ni ayan may the lord bless this word in our heart in jesus name ki oluwa ko bu kan oro yi ni igba iya wa loruko jesu this particular parable eh owe christi was recorded twice 
Ako ni emeji. Asha ako, ako le le emeji. Let's go to the cross reference and that is in Luke chapter 14. Eje ka lo si ibiti atituri o we yi. Ninu we mima. Ninu we Luke ori kene la. It's good to read Bible. Odara ki ama kabibili. And um, are you there? Share to one be. Let me start from verse 15. And I will stop at verse 24. And when one of them that sat at meat with him had these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Please listen. The reason why I told you that we should read this is for you to know what brought about this particular parable. It was someone who sat with Jesus to eat. He was the one that now said, Hmm. Blessed is that person who hit with you in the kingdom of God. Beloved, there is food in heaven. So we are not going to heaven to fast. Ah, lo sonu lati gba we. Aye la we wa ti do pin. I need to tell you the occupants of heaven they don't fast. Awon olugbe orun igba we except the occupant of hell. A fi awon olugbe orun apadi. The only food for the occupant of hell is fire. O nje kan soso so beloved Olufe, I want to let you to prepare your heart to, to be longing to eat with Christ and it's going to be an honorable thing because because the and that was what brought about this parable now verse 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. Jesus and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidding, Come for all things are now ready. Nigba ti a koko a ti je un to. O ran a wan yanan si ere. So do a wan ti o ti pe. La ti pe yon. La ti so fun wan pe. O ya a ti shetan. Now, please look up. E je woke. Why we need to go to this particular passage in Luke? E di ti a fi bodo wa sunu we in re ti Luke ye. In the record of Matthew. Ni nou a kosi le... Matthew, we were not told what prompted Christ to tell that parable. Ah, so from wa on to ti Christi lati mo we yawa. Then number two, a kg. We were not told the time that he was expecting when he threw out invitation and that he was expecting his guest. Ah, the so from wa a koko lenye gba to ti fi ateji se iwe ran se si ta fun won iwe ipe wa fun won a o so igba to pe won gan ni pato so here we call it supper ni ibi yi won pe ni o nje ale do you get it now you we need this so that you will understand how unreasonable they are excuses were those who he honorably gave invitation to mo fe ki ari eleyi ki a le mwa bi a ri wisi wong o se ni la kaye ni nou to ti o se gba mwa se to fwa a wong ti wong fi wekpe si bi a se nan we are ready now ni bo la anka la oba yi eh that's what alright good and they all with one consent 
began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I bought a piece of ground. And I must need go and see it in the night. I pray thee, have me excuse it. Ni ni go go wan kpata kpata la e kwe ni kan ba bere si ni si awa wi. E ni kini so fun kwe mo ra ile kan. Mo si ni lo lati lo wo mo toro a fori ji nyanda a me. Please. I know if you are not a farmer, you must have lived with farmers. Mama, bo ba kini si agbe wa ti ba wan agbe gbe. And if you have not lived with farmers, I want to tell you, me, I live in the village for many years. And I see that the days of IT. Uh -huh. Now, but in those days, there is no farmer that goes to farm in the night. Oh, look, we mean it, yow. Tori, I eat ya one scene. I ya ya rabi a shani. At ya ye a heroic balude. And pay no don't. Tis a scene. I want to be local. Please, do you go to farm tonight? I be in evening time. Uluwale. I like to go to farm in the night. Uh, eh, what kind of farming? You know, we are not talking. This this person looking at us eating, he was going to plow the ground. Don't you understand? Do you, do you plow in the night? You walk at a cream? No. Yoruba bo, Yoruba ni akbe to ba loko la le o fe jishu ekbe wani o. O se jari ba mekpa. To fi do ru. O fe jiko ekbe wa. Thank you. That there is, there is no reason for a farmer. Pe, ere di kan o si fun akbe. Who went to his farm from dawn? O loko ni a fe mo juma la o kutu dusk. Ti yo wa duro chonu o fi wo pata pata. If you find such a farmer. Bi a ba ruru a be be. His colleague and his contemporary said he has an ulterior motive to steal another person's crops. Inye ni pe, anwa egbe egbe a pe, o ni e ron gba miran, la ti ji isu, la ti ji ere o kwa anwa egbe e yoku wa. So, I just want you to see the unreasonableness of the excuse of this particular person who says, I've just bought a new farm. Mo kan fe ke eri, bi ko ti bala aka ye mo. Ti ko si bok polo mo, awa wi ti okoni in wikbe, mo se se ra ile kani. Then look at number 19. Another one. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen. And, okay. And I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excuse it in the night. Eni keji na, eni keji na ni mora malu fun euro euro ko mo mo fe lo don wa wo da ko nyanda mi o fe lo se idan wo malu la le. Well, I don't know. We are in the days of tractors now. Uh, Are they going to they use tractor to plow in the night? That they have to light the feet. Yes. Eh? They do. Okay. That, but this particular time, in the days of yoke of oxen, they don't do it. Nikba ti yo jek pe ma lu lan fin pako Anye e she Bi wawa ti e rin an ma lu o ni rin an lale Now look at this third person Another said I've married a wife And therefore I cannot come We are best to go That the place that your wife will not cook You just eat to eat E ne ke ta ni Mo se se gbe ya wo ni Ni to ri nan In ko le wa I bolo da la ju la ti lo to ekpe bi ti ya wo ro ti joko, ti ya wo ro si ti ni dana, ti o ni si wala kak. Ama ti ni si o ni mongan dana mbe. Excuse me. Do you know when 
this is just a, this man said i just i'm just newly married meaning that he needed only more any so i come to check but yeah only a yito to my sick only lati say eh are you so back well we have way now if there is any place to go i think is this place that we just go with his wife and they eat and dine and return to their only moon place. Molo, we be ti okobada you last one we be ti wa ti je ti wa ti mo ti wa se pada si ye u ti wa si ti magba fe mo lo. Verse twenty one. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being hungry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets. And lanes of the city and bringing theta the poor and the maimed and the hot and the blind. In a shana back by the Lord Jesha for the worry. In no be barely Elena, oh, so often I shall not pay the Telosi book bo titi at your no a buru, a loo, kill loco and one line, and one and one la and one for you know, in Matthew 22:10, we are only to the bad and the good. Hey man, anyway, Matthew, yeah, of course, of my way, at a many day, at a many buruku. Please, are you following? She and tell you. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Nick Batty and I shall not sit on only a lag bar at his beauty of Pasha. Sibe ayeku. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out unto the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Oluwa in a shen na sofun pe, lo si o na oku, ki o be, a wanti o bari, ki wan le wa, ki le me ki o ba le kon. For I say unto you that none of those men which you are bidding shall take of my supper. Nitori ko si okan ninu awon eni ti ayan won ni ti 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 o ti atikoko pe ti o wo ibi asemi may the lord bless this word in our heart in jesus name ki olorun ko bu kon re lo kan wa loruko jesus now from these two cross references lati ese oro olorun meji yi you we discover that look in his own recording he didn't tell us about the inspection of the king who made the feast eh di pe luku ninu akosile ti e ko so fun wa abewo oba to pe aseyen but he also told us how the father of this eh uh, king was very much interested that every dictumanary must be part of his feast that he has provided. Oh dear, I saw from what be Baba Yahweh to see as he be Yahweh she fe kick book bow ni ruenya at ten to ni lari at ten to ni lari to one wa see be as he now. Now from the account of Luke, we have three sets. Of invitees. Ni inu we luku ani egbe meta awanti akpe. The first invitee were those who were given honorable invitation ahead of time. A egbe a koko ni egbe awanti ati fi atele wo iwe ikpe le lo wo sa ju ojo igbe ya wuyen just as we normally do here too bi ati man se na la bi a na ati man se aha that see. when you want to give your daughter's hand in marriage or you want to do something you know you want to do any fees whatever you will have sent invitation ahead of time e pe nigba ta ba fe se igbe ya wo ta ba fe se aye ye ka ye ye ati fi iwe iliwo jade and the reason is first to Give notice so that your guests can create room to be part of what you want to do. Idi resinikpe ki ale fun a wanti akpe ni anfani 
lati le mora sile lati le dara po mo ipe na so that none of them will give you excuse that i didn't hear on time pe eni ke ni won ni le so pe mi tete gbo so to avoid such embarrassment lati le dekun idani ni jibe because it is an embarrassment for you to throw a party and those that you are expected that you are expecting they didn't come idani ni ji ni ati itiju ni pe ki a pe asi ki awon ti awon reti ki won wa kan ko kan ma wa and you need to know e si ye ke mo the 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 status of a man we also determine the quality of his feast a bi eniyan ba ti lorin to iruwa ye ti eniyan wa yo so iruwa si ti o pe you can compare when the president of a nation throw a feast and compare it to a a poor man in in also in the nation to throw a feast eh le fi akawe ara won we ra won nigbati aro orilede ba pe ase fun yo igbeyawo abi fun na wo kan ati olose eniyan kan ti kan rin gboro kaakiri to na pe ase so if they turn the invitation of the poor man he will end up eating what he has provided between him and his family member bi won ba ko ti won lo si bi ase eni ti o ri jaje yi eh unti o se ni pe won ba nkan to se na o wa ta won mo ara ile re ni won ajo je we just say thank god and adupe lowo olorun the little we can prepare even it is not even enough for us to eat in a week e yi ti ati e pe se gan ko twitter wa gan je so we will manage it today and next tomorrow and then we are fine i a je lo ni a je lo la si je lo so if it were to be a president sugbon to ba je pe are orilede ni it's going to be a waste of resources yo wa je adanu ati ifi sofo dukia and from here we need to learn that god does not is not is not wasteful lati bi e je ki o ye wa pe olorun o ki fi nkan sofo no god is not wasteful olorun o ki fi nkan sofo and we must learn that from christ awa na si gbodo ko iru asa ti se bayi latodo christi christ made us to know that God is not wasteful. Christi je ko di mi mo fun wa pe Olorun o ki nfi kan sofo. Do you remember when he fed the 5000 with five loaves bread and two fishes? E ran ti igba to ba awon egberun marun eniyan pelu eja wewe meji ati bread marun. The instruction he gave to his disciples said gather the leftover. O n to pa se fun won ni pe e ko awon itoku jo. Say let nothing be wasted. Oni e ma se je ko n ko n ko se gbe. And they gathered twelve baskets. O si ko agban meji la jo. The reason for that in the bible is to teach us that god is not wasteful e re di fun akosile ile inunu bibere ni pe lati ko wa pe olorun o kin se buje budana let's be love let's learn from christ e jo e je ka ko eyi latodo olorun now the second set of people awon egbekeji wa yi that invited ti o pe this were those who were not informed before awon ti won o fi ateji se iwe ranse si won tele such that the feast will not be wasted dey bi pe ase na o ni sofo and he sent his servant go to the highways o wa ni ka won ranse on lo si opopo na the streets opopo na gbogbo call any kind that you find ati koro ati gba ngbe ni keni ti e ba ti ri the poor olosini the maim alai ni the hot any ti the blind aro afoju so far they are human to ba ti ati je pe eyan ni bring them in e mu won wa and they went and they succeeded won lo won si sase ore this one they didn't say ah me i have invitation to go awon ele yo ni pe mi ni nkan bi kan ti mo fe lo and you know the kind of a person that they will gather eyin na si mo ru awon eyan ti won akojo excuse me as we are looking at me jo bo ti nwo mi can somebody just tell you and say our daddy one of our daddy is doing one feast and i want you to hit there so let's go now let's go now she, do you follow that person bo ti joko e pe ke nkan pe baba kan se ase lo ni ja lo nsin ja lo nsin so tell you any be unless you have a poverty mindset to ba wa je pe olosi eyan ni o ti o si tu yo olosi lemi ati lara Ah uh-huh, that is when you will go. Because I need to tell you the way the world is now that was how the world was then. So the money that is of one be aye ti rin si be na laye se ri ni gba ni o. You need to suspect why would they just be asking to come and eat? Ah what 
Do I know what they what, what they will do for me after I finish eating? Oh, ni lati funra. Ipe kilo to ma pe mi pe ki won ajon. Ki se mo mo ti won a se fun mi. Nigba ti ma pa ti ma jonja na tan ni. But because the of, of the cause of the authority of the commission, there was a there was a pool that put those men to that place. Ni tori a se ipe na. A se kan wa to fa awon eniyan won yen wa si bi ase na. And after they have brought them him, Lenny Batty want to come on wa. The servant went to report back. I want you to share now, Lord Jishefon, a bali lena. Say, sir, we have done what you said. It be a lagba. I want to share it to you on our own. And yet there is rule. Shuba, I yes it to what he bear. And the Lord said unto the servant, All one and so far, you share now, be go again. It be a two part the law. Go again. A two part the law. Now is now the instruction is compelled them to come. Eh, ye wa so it be a row one lati wa. That they might not be interested to come because it is too late now. One le ma fe wa tori pe o ti pe ile ti shu. They might suspect us and they are reasonable to suspect us. One le fun ra si wa. One si ni la ka ye to ti won lati fun ra si wa. Now compare them to come. Ni si si yi e ro won lati wa. My desire is that my house may be filled. O ni e ro mba o kan mi ni pe ki le mi ki o le kon. Beloved, I need to let you know this. O lu fe, jekin jekin e yi ko yi o. We are the servant of God. Every Christian is a servant of God. Go, go, Christian, pata ni asoju ati ko lon you don't need any human ordination to become a servant of God. Oh, ni lo yi fo wale tabi yi fo rori an yi ninyan. Lati di onishi o long. If you are indeed a Christian. Boba jek pe lo o to lo o to lo jek Christian ni. You are a servant of God. Inanshi o long ni o. God wants us to invite people to his house. Oh, no, I think you have been away in your wasi le o wong. His house is not our churches, the denomination we have. He lay the town so ye, can she and one in Jawa, Tabi and one in Ruru, Jotty and Nikakiri. It is the body of Christ. He lay the town so ye ni a yara Christi. So we have this instruction from the Lord. Ani ashe ye, let your dolu. Since we have been beneficiary of his of this divine provision for salvation. Come to think of it. The servant in this house, they have ate more than enough. So for for them to have been sent to go and call others is just to. Give others the platform and the premise for them to be part of what they are enjoying in the Father's house. For one, let the Lord pick on one. Let the Lord pamel the mirror. Wa, oh, ni peki awo ni na le wa. Let the Lord do bad one and funny. Ti awo na hungry ni nule ba panye. So when you cannot honor the invitation that Jesus said, go and bring them here, it shows that you have not been benefited from what Jesus has given to us in his salvation. T.O. Bawale lo, gege bi a she kristi pe, e lo, e lo koma wa, e yi pi yan pe, i wagon o ti i jala bak pe, ni nou a se, ti kristi in se, ni nou le re, fwa a wang i kwa i bala. This might not be applicable to all of us. But I know many of us here. By the grace of God. We have been saved by grace. And we know the benefit in Christ Jesus. We know the wonderful benefit and wonderful provision that we enjoy through the cross of the of Christ. Awa ama awa aragba yamu yamu yanu ikpese. Ti anri je ni no Christi Jesu.
We are Christians. Christian in Iwa. And that makes us a servant. Hey, you see, so what you know, How do we be servants? We are to witness to others what we enjoy in the house. The food that we are eating that nourish our souls. The food that we are eating that is making us to grow rapidly in Christ. There is a food you will eat that will make you strong. There is a food you will eat that will make you to be a terror to the kingdom of God. There is a food you eat in Christ that will make you to trample over the enemy. There is a food in Christ Jesus that whatever the, the storm in life, whatever the compromise around you, no, no matter the error around you, there is a food you eat in Christ that shakeable things will not shake you away. There is a food we eat in Christ that make you to keep on keeping on in Christ Jesus. There is a food you eat in Christ that make you strong to, to, to be able to obey God when he is demanding on purpose popular obedience. If God by his mercy have given you privilege to hit on this table, then the master of the house has the right to send you to go and bring in orders. And beloved brothers and sisters, if you have been Giving invitation. And, and people are giving you excuses. Don't fold your hands. I said they didn't come. I've invited them. They are not interested. You must keep ongoing to bring in orders. Because the master of the house God who has made this abundant provision He made this abundant Abundant provision of salvation for all. Those that didn't honor your invitation. Going to others. Invite them. Still go beyond that. Don't just invite them. Now you say compel them. And you when you are to compare somebody, the person will say, I'm not interested. Where did you even say it? The place is. He said it is very, it is there. And he said it is far. If you are to compare that man, say don't worry. I have a car. We shall go together. You need to know the reason why God give you your car. It's not just for your personal enjoyment. You need to know why God gave you that bike. It's to invite others. Why will you alone be coming your bike? Why can't you bring in another person? Or two other person with you. Why will you alone be coming in your car? Bringing in others. Be deliberate about it. And take I will take you there. And I will bring you back. What about that? And the man will say, I will go with you. That is what it means to compel. Please do you follow into this point? Can I leave that with you? Now from the preamble. Can we come back to the outline? I just felt that 
the issue of servant being commissioned to bring in others, we need to say something about it to us. Okan, wa si okan mi pe, oro yon anon she, la ti mwa wen lo miran wa, anu la ti swankan ni pare ni. We are saved to serve. Agba wa la, la ti shi she ni. Will you allow me not to read this note word for word? She elfa ye ba mi, la ti ma ka ywe le wo yi, la ti yoro di yoro. Or do you still want me to read? I am your servant, so just tell me what you want. Shall we go over it again? Shall we read it again, Abi? Okay, I'm at your service, don't worry. <laughs> the Lord, by this parable of marriage feast of the king's son, refutes the plenteous provisions of God concerning salvation for all. It was peculiarly designed for the Jews who were the first to be honorably invited but neglected it. This gave room for the Gentiles to be engrafted to share in this gospel dispensation but also neglected by many. The work of salvation is completed and the days we are now is the time of the feast of good things which isaiah prophesied about in isaiah 25 verse 6 there is no need to labor to get any of all the spiritual blessings they are already provided the table is set with sumptuous things that nourishes satisfies and enhances rapid growth what concerns all is to heed the invitation that bids us come on this table in his house as the church is provided with all things needed for life and godliness before one is counted worthy to be the bride of the only begotten son of the father no one is expected to enter his house and not comply with the ordinance of the gospel that makes all glorious and the worthy brides in court to be presented to the father unfortunately the depravity of the will of man permits neglect ill treatment of the servants of the gospel and the stubbornness to jettison the demands of the gospel this has made many who professed godliness to be discarded and cast out of being particles of the spiritual riches provided in the gospel. Amen. Amen. Please look up. Okay. I believe you all understood the parable we read. Now, Two sets of invitees. I want to be made to have you with me. Please don't be confused because I said I now said two sets of invitees because the other time I told you three sets. Abi. Am I your co-daru? Am I what you call so pay? Am I going meta? So pay be made to miss him. Now you will get it clearer. Yo, you in there, 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 Those who were first honorably invited. As the group one. I want to a coffee week be to what to what I want a bala coco. Then those who are called on impromptu. I want to a work be lie yeah I want a bala kg. Do you understand that now? Do you agree we have two sets of guests? I need a bala a bala kg. I want a bala kg by now. Listen. I do well now. There were. Two set of people in the world in the days of Jesus Christ. I want to be made ni in your love. I need to be made in Jesus. Please listen to me. I do not want me. The Jews and the Gentiles. I want in a Jew. I want to be made. 
the Jews are the Israelis. I want Jew ni I want Maurile the Israeli. The Gentiles are all other nations apart from Israel. I want Keferi ni Bogori le di Ayetoku yato si I want my Israeli. And now we are talking in scriptural parlance. Nisi bai awan soro ni ibekale bibeli. For the fact that we have developed nation, an undeveloped nation, God does not classify the world that way. The both developed and undeveloped. So far, you are not an Israeli, you are a Gentile. Pe ani awon ilu to ti da to ti di dagba soke won ti yakakan ati awon ti dagba soke won wonle Olorun o ka ye be ni won igba to ba tin se omo orile ide Israeli keferi ni o ni ojo Oluwa You will remember those of you that read Bible eh ranti eyin te nka bibeli a woman came to Jesus okay. asking for deliverance for her daughter, yeah, either her daughter or her son, I don't know. Oh, Bene, come to Jesus, wa. Oh, I'm very fun, it's silly, for my Bene. And uh, Jesus said, I am not sent to any outsider, I'm sent to the Lord Chief of Israel. Jesus, wa, we fun, we, I will run me, see any Kenny, because you want a good time, lay straight, to know. And I need to tell you. In the days of Jesus in human body, he did not travel outside the shore of Israel to preach. He has a parochial ministry. Aha. He didn't have a worldwide ministry. He only he was commissioned primarily ah. for Israel. So salvation was initially designed for the Jews. Igbala latete I want you like me say the telephone. Please listen to. Job, listen you. to this word of God. God alone you. So Jesus came only for the Israelis. Jesus, what what? Later, I want to relate the Israeli nation. He came for them. Oh, what for one? John one. He said he came for his own. And his own receive him not. It was the rejection of Jesus Christ by the Jews. That made all other Gentile nations to be engrafted. Into the into salvation plan. Oh, no, Jackie, I want to relay the Keferi Toku. Do you want to say what? You know, I take to it, Balao Long. Please pay attention. Yo, Farabaleo, Farabaleo. So, the Jews were those first set that he gave the invitation to, but they all gave excuses and all of that. I want you, ni I want to be a coco. So if you wait for your chance, go go on Monday. Ni ari we si kan tabi o mena. We are coming to the reaction. Ah, ah, tana wo awa ari we si wan. But I just want you to get this preamble very well. Mo kan fe ki ori ifara ikba mo dara dara. The Jews neglected. I want you want ko ikbala that opportunity of being saved. Please listen. You know, this is one of the problems of some of our Nigerians who travel to Jerusalem. Some of them, they will come back and say, ah, even the Jews, they don't even believe in Jesus. I want me also to say, I want you to go back to Jesus. 
Sometimes they face us say it is you that are fanatic about Jesus. You people are just being fanatic. You this born again, born again. That is not as it is not as hot as the way you are. Jesus is going to let to be in Jerusalem. Money Jerusalem will let to be. There was one man in those days. He said, in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. They are very liberal. There is church like this. There is mosque like this. No discrimination. Confused man. The man died. is late now. He used to preach in those days. So don't also don't be confused lighting. That's why we are we are telling you this. That when you get to Jerusalem. And uh, you say Jesus is the Son of God. They said no. What do you mean? He's not. He's a prophet. You might even be shocked. One of them is tell you that he's a bastard. Please are you following? You tell you They neglected. And because they neglected. Now, the Bible said in that John 1 11. Many that receive him. I think that's verse 12 now. Uh -huh. He said, as many that has received him now. They receive him as what? I want to bikini. As the son of God. Please listen. We need to let you know. The contention about Jesus Christ. That make. Jesus to be persecuted even in the land of Palestine. Was because he declared himself to be the son of God. So, those who practice Judaism, they don't believe Jesus to be the son of God. Just as people who do Islam, we also deny him to be the son of God. But where the life of salvation is found. Is in seeing Christ as the Son of God and believing Him so. Oh, nipe ki ori Christi. Yeke bi omo long kosi bagbo pe bel ori. You can be in the church and you don't believe Jesus as the Son of God. Ole wani nu ijo koma ba Christi yeke bi omo long. You are not a Christian. Oh, he say Christian ni. You can be a Christian without believing Jesus as the Son of God. Oh, le je Christian ni kote ma ba Christi. And if you are a Christian, to bade wa Christian ni o. You must tell your friend. O budo so fun awon ore re. Your family, anybody you meet. Eni yo mu to le ba pade awon ara le e. That Jesus is the son of God. Ni pe Jesus ni omo Olorun. There is no controversy about it. Ko si a ni yanji yan ni be. And if they doubt him. Ti won ba wa ti e meji. The the worst sin in life. Please listen to me. It's not abortion. The worst thing in life. It's not adultery. The worst thing in life. It's not robbery. May I announce to you? The worst thing in life is not rape. All of that you may not do it. And all of those that I've mentioned, I'm not telling you that they are not sins. But I'm telling you the worst crime in the world. Please listen to me, whoever that cares to listen. And he can do one fake is to deny that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. Oh, Nico, say it be Christy, kiss your more long. If you are better than better, to bad that you that that long. 
and you are very good and good itself. If you deny that Jesus is not the Son of God, the wrath of God is upon you. And that has nothing to do with your status quo in the society. If you are not just a man that is known in your neighborhood or known in your land, if you if you become, if you have outgrown being a national man, you are outgrown being an international man, you have become an intercontinental man. And everybody is applauding that you are the best man in the world. The worst sin in life is that you deny that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. The Bible says God so loved the world that, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish and God meant it what, what give you automatic ticket? A bell out of hell is to accept Jesus Christ as the Son of God. And we are not doing religious politics here. This is the declaration of God. That whosoever believes in him. When he says whosoever. If he's an adulterer, if he's a rapist, if he's a violent man, a thief, an arm robber, so far he believes in the Son of God. He will not perish. He will have eternal life. But whosoever that does not believe Jesus Christ to be the Son of God, whosoever, no matter how noble or ignoble he is, he shall perish. Please, do you follow to this point? So tell me the now, this was a bone of contention between Jesus and the Jews themselves. They confront and say, who are you to, to, to call yourself the son of God? Because the Jews understood what it means for someone to be called the son of God. They knew that himself is God. Please, are you following me? Now, because when we are talking about salvation, salvation is not in religion. There is no religion that will save anyone. No. Christ is the Savior. Christ ni Olubala. And the premise of salvation is to believe him to be the only begotten son of the Father. Pepele fui bala ni pe ki agba omo bibi kan so su Olorun gbo. Now the Jews 
They ignore Christ. They neglected him. Actually, they crucified him. But before Jesus Christ went to the cross, he told the Jews, he said, we will take the kingdom of God from you. Only and we are going to give it to the nations that <inaudible> does not deserve it. And he said to them, <inaudible> haven't one of your prophets spoke? <inaudible> that where I said they are not my children, <inaudible> I will call them my children. <inaudible> Do you know when that Syrophenica woman came to Jesus to be asking for deliverance? Jesus said, I am not sent to you. He said, you don't give children's bread to dogs. All other Gentile nations are dogs. That's the way Christ rated us. Be Christ, it is a show. Dima one in yeah. And thank God for that woman. That woman was not, she, she did not feel insulted. Oh, I do call all on for being here. Oh, go, 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 car. And she was she. And you know, when you are in problem now, you have to be gentle. Even if you are not gentle. You know, a man with, you know, with myriad of problems has no problem. Oh, you know, you know, a man with myriad of problems has no principle now. And it's only so, you know, Bani, like you told, and I'm Say, sir, please. Mm. Then you have spoken right. You don't give children's bread to dogs. But sir, dogs used to eat the crumb that fell from the table of the children. Jesus said, wow! Have not seen this kind of a great Israel. Israel. And he attended to the woman. What did the Jews they did not appreciate? The Gentile did appreciate. So, so we are the second set. Who were not honorably invited. That were compared to come. Just as those the Jews then ignored the invitation. Not only that, he treated the servant saints. Oh, raw, I want and also neglect to honor his invitation. Okay, one fee I don't want to set on once it's too poor laughing away, parent. Even today, Titi do nigga, but even among the Gentile nations, Lani, I want only lady, Kefiri. We are also. Ignoring the invitation. Several servants that have come to you, and don't forget, I told you, Christ, servants here connote Christians. Who comes to invite you to Christ? Sometimes you ignore. Sometimes you, sometimes you treat them. And eventually you are not coming. So we want each of us to check what is our attitude towards this invitation. Now, wait. In Isaiah 26, we need to go there. Sorry, Isaiah 25, verse 6. I want to let you see that Isaiah has spoken about this feast. Isaiah 25. I 
Are we there? Yeah. yeah. Now, verse 6. Yes, okay, for. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fatlings, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow of wines on the lees well refined. Oluwa awon mo ogun yo fi awon eran Olorun asi asi nla kan fun gbogbo orileyde yo pa awon eran abopa pelu oti wine ati awon eran abopa ti o sanra ti o kun fun mudun mudu ati oti wine dara dara. Now you know in Psalm 23 e mo ni we Psalm 23 yen David said, Thou set a table before me. So there is a table that God had provided. Furnished with fat things. Furnished with sumptuous meal. Now listen. This is not physical. It's a spiritual meal. Are you with me? And in this meal provided, there are no food that you eat that you have diabetes. There are no food that you will eat that you have pot belly. There are not food that you are going to eat that you are going to become obese. These are food loaded with spiritual blessings. Mealing full of divine nutrients for your, for your nourishment. nourishment. The food you eat and you become giant in the spirit. I won't get you a day. That's all the omera. That when you have not gone to any school of a uh, defense academy, you will become a warrior. Ni wai bato jekpe. Oh, ti e lo si nu ile yi we ti a ti n koni ni pa i da o gon. Shukma yi wati kara a re. La ta a ri on je yi. Wa a di da gon, da gon. Because a person who set this table. To ni a ni to kpe tabili yi si le. And furnish it with this sumptuous me. Oh, ti se to re kpe lu a on je to doso. Him said he is a man of war. Oh, ti kala a ra ra re. O koni o lo gon ne. He is the lord of host. O mga o. So there is no way you hit his food. That you'll be a puppet to demons. When you hit this food, you will become nourished. Such that money will not give you joy. That when you don't have money, that you will now become down, you go down, and you're emotionally down, you shut down. And when they say, Let's go to the house of God, say, Where will I get offering to give? It's because you have not been hitting from this table. If pastors are eating this food, they will not need to be asking you for money in every service that you have to be giving offering. They will not ask you to give so that you can prosper. They don't need to, they will never tell you to give so that you, your daughter can be healed. It is because they have never had 
access to this meal we are talking about. The apostles of Christ who uh, ate on this table. Peter said to that lame, silver and gold have I not. And because he didn't have money, he did not also tell him because you, you have to give a thousand dollars so that you can get out of this people. He said, what I have, I give unto you. And what I give unto you, you don't need to pay for it. Arise and walk. He lifted him up for the past 38 years. And this man had sat at the beautiful gate of the temple. He had never entered the temple. He jumped into the temple. He was jumping, leaping up and down. There was commotion for the first time in the temple. And you need to know the way he did. Such that crowd gathered. 5,000 came, more than 5,000 came. And Peter said, Why are you gazing on me? When you hit on this table, you don't need to promote yourself so that people can bow to you. People who have lost credibility with God seek credibility with me. Say, look at us. So why are you looking at us as though we are righteous? As though we have done it by our power. We don't know anything about it. It is the man that you crucified. In his name. Our faith in his name. Make this man to rise. And he preached. Five thousand came to and come in those days. We want it by is to come and hit. He only we want that is there. Concern to be fire for Jesus. Think that in God will love you. All of the fire for Jesus. Come and hit. Come and hit. What the? What the? The, the reason for the church is to expose the people of God to this table. We have a meal in Christ that save you from sin. We have a meal in Christ that deliver us from the flesh. We have a meal in Christ that deliver you from devil. We have a meal in Christ that make you strong that you walk tall in this wicked world. On heart. There is a meal in Christ that deliver you from sicknesses and diseases. There is a meal in Christ that make you rich. There is a meal in Christ that make you prosperous. Prosperity has nothing to do with cash flow. No. Joseph was a prosperous man, yet he was a slave in Potiphar's house. Joseph. The reason for our poverty in our nation is that all of our politicians, majority of them, they are poor men. How do I mean? Some of them have money to come to contest. But their brain is dark. Some of them they say they are pastors, they are we are Christians. And the reason for going to politics is to loot the nation. It's because they are poor. And they have not earned 
hit in the table of Christ. When you hit in the table of Christ, and, and you are given a political office, you behave like Joseph in the Bible. You behave like Daniel. Daniel provides solution to the problem of Babylon. Daniel Nebuchadnezzar gave him gift. Nebuchadnezzar if Said keep your gift with you. Those are rich men. I want to do a lot on in You call a politician rich man. Check my wallet. You are near a lot of be. Poor man. Poor man. Who we'll be keeping Nigerians money in their safety tank? Poor man. I want to worry ladies. You know, said 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 darling. You know, one. Oh, lost in one. There is a meal in Christ. That make you rich. Rise to your feet. Let us pray. Lord, I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat that meal. That meal that will save me from sin. I want to eat that meal that will deliver me from the powers of darkness. I want to eat that meal that will make me strong. That I will become a terror to the powers of hell. Give me, give me that meal. Give me that meal that will make me rich. I will not join them in the corruption of my nation. I will not be running after money. I will not be running after money. I will be running after the welfare of my people. Lord, I pray. Keep me in that meal. Now make me strong. To deliver my mandate. Give me that meal. That will keep going in Christ. This is my cry, oh God. This is my cry, oh God. I want to grow strong. I want to grow robust. I want to walk through the high. Live a life. That is not a life of compromise. A life that will advance your purpose in life. Give me that meal. Set this table before me, O Lord. Set this table before me, O God. Give me that access to him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Many of us in this nation. Our heart is bad, our brain is bad. Lord, give me a meal in Christ. That makes you to have a good heart. And have good brain. Your brain is bad when you are selfish. Your heart is bad when you want to destroy other lives. The last prayer point. Lord in mercy. The meal provided in Christ. That will give me a good heart and a good brain. Lord release that me. I am ready to eat Lord. I am ready to eat Lord. I need a good heart. I need a good, I need a good brain. So that I can be blessing to others. Do this for me, mercy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.